So they say here, the oblate spheroid shape extends 100 yards, more or less. Any person within that sphere became vague in form. Now, the oblate spheroid shape, that is inside the apple. That is really where the space-time is changed. If I'm slightly outside, I'm actually still in the non-radiating boundary. If I'm outside the non-radiating boundary, light gets wrapped around and you see what's on the other side. So you have to be inside the non-radiating boundary when you're not turning to mash and being part of the ship. You go, and, and so you need to be on that boundary. And listen what he says here. Any person within that sphere, that's the, non, the, the apple, uh, became vague in form, but he too observed the persons aboard that ship as though they were two uh, were of the same state, yet walking upon nothing. Any person without that sphere could see nothing save the clearly defined shape of the ship's hull in the water, providing, of course, that the person was just close enough to see, yet just barely outside of that field. So there's that zone where you're in the non-radiating boundary. Outside that non-radiating boundary, it's invisible. It's invisible to all photons. That includes radar. Now, by being this big, you know that the actual length of ship is comfortably within the overall structure.